Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show with our host, Jim Neff. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Welcome to this edition of the Michigan Skier. I'm your host, Jim Neff. We're here at Boyne Mountain with a very special guest, Frida Wera, who's had a tremendous experience cross-country skiing all the way to the North Pole. Frida, thanks for being with us, and tell us a little bit about the experience about uh, going to the farthest place you can go on the face of the earth on skis. Well, at least it's flat. <laughs> um, in 2001, 12 women, and six of them from Michigan, uh, were a part of the first all-female expedition to ski unsupported, and that means that we didn't have anyone flying in gear for us or food or any other kind of provision. Um, we made it from the Russian side of the Arctic Ocean to the geographic North Pole and um, I have to tell you it, it um, you know I, I've been a skier all my life and I've always said that skiing snow is my favorite toy but I found in the Arctic it was also my favorite art form um, when you look nonstop 24-7 uh, the Sun does not set in April on the Arctic Ocean so you have absolutely nothing for windbreak and you learn a lot about how wind and water can change the snow formations there and um, fascinating place to live does a lot to your psyche though <laughs> now i'm sure everyone uh, in our audience is wondering how do you get ready for a trip like that is there any way to train for it or prepare yourself mentally for it live in the up <laughs> i live on the south shore of lake superior and marquette and i think i really was blessed with some of the best training material because basically the shoreline gets that cobbled ice and that's what we were skiing and dragging sleds through that so it was real good training for me and i also get an opportunity to do a lot of camping in in you know very cold weather um, most of the time our temperatures were 30 below to zero degrees we say in the up that you know from 30 to 60 degrees is a huge temperature change because that's winter to summer and um, summer maybe without too many bugs yet at 60 degrees but there we really learned that 30 below to zero is much greater in, in a temperature shift and you learn to really adapt it's, it's amazing i think if anybody wants to learn more about the most amazing culture on this planet it's the inuit and the people that do live in the high arctic and um, just getting a chance to be there for about a month uh, it does a lot to you now frida this uh, experience that you uh, in enjoyed uh, is chronicled in a book. Uh, tell us a little bit about that book, which came out, I believe, last May. Sue Carter, who basically was the founder of Women Quest, which was our umbrella organization that we traveled to the pole with, she wrote a book. It's Extraordinary Women on an Arctic Journey. And, um, or Ordinary Women on an, on an Arctic Journey, excuse me. Um, but she really did an amazing job at chronicling that adventure. Um, I was teamed up with Sue and I was the videographer. So I have about 14 hours of footage and our goal is that interest in the book will then spur uh, more interest in having a video program produced from it. But um, it's just an amazing story of ordinary women, really ordinary women. We, none of us were champion skiers. We just had a desire to really see how much we could open the envelope on ourselves. We'll look for that book on Amazon and also at your local bookstore, and hopefully we'll see a video or maybe a movie uh, deal cut. You never know, someone from Hollywood could be uh, looking for an adventure like that to put on film. I've been uh, here with Frida Wera, and uh, we've been talking about her great exploits in the, by skiing to the North Pole. This is your host, Jim Neff, hoping that you enjoy your skiing, and join us next time for Michigan Skier TV.